Despite years of public service among them, four local authority figures found themselves in the public eye for the wrong reasons this year. They all lost their positions and some even wound up behind bars. WDEF News 12's Joe Legee looks at, back at the corruption in this special report. Ward Crutchfield had it all. The former Democratic leader of the Tennessee Senate and longtime attorney served on key legislative committees, helping shepherd policies supported by the governor. I thought the judge uh, was fair to the government and to Senator Crutchfield. Crutchfield lost it all in early 2008. After pleading guilty to accepting a $3,000 bribe, a judge sentenced Crutchfield to two years of probation and six months of home confinement for his part in Operation Tennessee Waltz. When any law enforcement officer, be it federal, state, or local, puts his desire for money above his sworn duty to protect and to serve, we all suffer. Crutchfield's fall from grace would quickly be overshadowed by the arrest of Hamilton County Sheriff Billy Long just 16 days later. For all the trouble, all the bridge building we do to try and, to try and make efforts to, to work with the public, this doesn't just set us a, a step or two back. This sets us all the way back to zero in some ways. A 10-month investigation resulted in charges of extortion, money laundering, and drug trafficking and left Long's department demoralized. I decided I'm going to quit trying to understand because I never will. But uh, it's getting a little to deal with. You know, you don't, I know we'll never really get over it. We'll just learn to, to live with it and we'll adjust to it. Long pleaded guilty and received 14 years in prison. Voters called on Jim Hammond to take over the sheriff's department during a special election in August. Uh, the Georgia statute does allow uh, that a person can be uh, prosecuted and brought to trial for the charge of murder without a body being uh, discovered or found. Another member of law enforcement found himself on the flip side when Walker County authorities charged former Lafayette police officer Sam Parker with murdering his estranged wife Teresa. His case continues to move slowly through the courts, unlike Chattanooga Councilman John Duke Franklin's. I really was disappointed at a time like this after the Billy Long thing. On May 14th, a DEA roundup resulted in Franklin being charged with money laundering, conspiracy, and falsifying documents. In November, he pleaded guilty to falsifying documents. As much as we'd like to say something, we'll just have to wait till after sentencing. Franklin will be sentenced in late February. In the Tennessee Valley, Joe Lee, WDEF News 12. Now, other parts of the country were not immune to public corruption in 2008. Illinois Governor Rod Blagojevich, excuse me, stands accused of trying to sell President-elect Barack Obama's vacant U.S. Senate seat to the highest bidder. And Alaska Senator Ted Stevens pleaded guilty to trying to bribe another lawmaker.